folks, welcome back to Mount Vale. And I am over here by our little spawn village in the middle of our server, getting ready to head onto the road to the Mesa today. So we are going to head all the way over there. And I'm just going to show you my coordinates real quick here. So you can see it's not quite zero zero, but this is this is where we've determined our spawn to be. This is where you spawn in when you join the server. So for the very first time. So this is pretty much for all intents and purposes, zero, zero, a couple hundred meters off, I know. But just so you can see context when we get to the other side, finally, which is going to take a while, you'll see how far I traveled. It's about 8,200 meters away. So it takes quite a long time. So I've got my bed, I've got my weapons. So let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to head off. This road took a long time to make. Um, we all helped a little bit on it, each of us. Um, but actually, oh, I'll show you right here. Um, so I had a little sign for the Mountville Free Exchange. So if you first get on the server, you want to get some free bows and armor, help you get a little bit more of a start, get some enchanted armor, enchanted bows, anything other miscellaneous. Uh, that's where you can go. Get a nice little head start. All right, so we're up here suspended in the sky, kind of traversing the jungle. Uh, again, with this with this road, we kind of tried to follow the lay of the land as much as possible, but uh, also make it kind of make sense, too. So it would be extremely hard and tedious to make a trail through the jungle on the ground to make a road through that. So we decided to kind of go up high and avoid all of that. And it's got some pretty cool places, like this little tunnel here. kind of goes through the mountain. And there's a nice little look at Mountville City over there. I love that. That's cool. All right, so let's continue on. And we're gonna go through the jungle here. I'm going to I'm gonna time lapse a lot of the stuff later, so don't worry about that. Um, it's gonna take a while to get through some of the longer sections, but I'll go ahead and speed it up so it won't take that much time. Um, okay, so here's our first fork. I'm actually going to go ahead and head off this way briefly, take a brief detour. That is the main road. It kind of goes off that way. This is a little detour on the side here. Um, Jesse actually built this triangle on. Um, kind of goes up to one of his places that he has over here on the top of a mountain. And you can actually see this from my place. I mean, you can see my place there. Oh, that's a wonderful chunk air. Awesome. All right, well, I'm gonna continue on here. It's almost nighttime too. And take this all the way down. Looks like I'm going off into nothing, that's funny. Uh, my slow computer. Just really, wow, that's really bad. There we go, that looks a little more normal. Ah, oh, sorry about that. That is ridiculous. All right, that's a little more like it. That's what I was looking for. All right, so here's a little cabin. It's built up on the top of this mountain here. And you can kind of see for frame of reference, well, you can't really see, but kind of off that direction is Fort Durham and um, also Trianglon's little outpost down there as well next to it. So he actually has some mines. Remember the mines that I kind of briefly glimpsed at looking downward? Those mines actually go all the way from here. So if you go straight down, you're going to hit those mines, and you can actually connect to that other outpost from here as well. So pretty cool nice little connection and we're up on the roof that's about it I'm gonna use this bed escape the night and there we go all right and I'm gonna head back to the main road So 
I'm going to continue on here down the road and coming up here is one of the coolest things I have ever seen on our server I never imagined that it would be built this is actually built by future foe this massive bridge up here so this is the original road actually went off this way so you can see kind of here ye old road I'm going to take that first and so we can get a nice good side view of the bridge so this is the original way that we had uh, set up when we first built the road and I went along here not too bad but Ali just decided you know what I'm gonna make an awesome bridge <laughs> I don't know if that's what he said, but it's pretty cool. I love this bridge. And then it connected up on the other side over there. So let's head back and take it over. Cross over the water from there. Hey, it's Tommy. Alright, so kind of head over here, down towards the bridge here. I just love the design of this thing. This guy just started Minecraft a couple months ago. It's amazing. He's got some building skills. Uh, Alright, so we got the Blockboro Bridge. That is Future Foe's place's name is Blockboro, so he made the Blockboro Bridge. And this goes to CMS, which is short for Cold Mountain Springs, where we're going to head the Mesa, and of course, Blockboro. So let's take this. And he actually built in, you can kind of go down beneath and see a tunnel through here. This is, he told me this, he's actually going to use this um, for the railway. So when we eventually hook up uh, Blockboro Ranch to the railway, um, that we have set up back towards spawn it's going to go through here so it'll go underneath the bridge and then up here it'll just be where we travel normally uh, just by foot and but he actually was awesome enough to make a access up to the top of the bridge too which is super sweet Wow, I fell far. That took a long time to resurface. So, I like this view of the bridge too. It's pretty cool. And you can kind of see the glass underneath. That's where that's where that goes. So, nothing too crazy up top, just a nice view of the area. Fun place to do some dives if you want. All right, so I'm going to move on. I'm going to cross the bridge and continue on down the road. And you did the same thing over here too, so you can have access down there to the, the track system and then up here to the same uh, if you want to get up top and see it from up high. And there's our little exit, Blockboro Bridge, back to spawn, heads that way. And he's got a little shelter here too, rest cabin. So depending on where you're at in your journey, if it's almost nighttime, you can kind of come in here and sleep and survive the night. Or we could head back down the old road, ye old road, if you want to head back the normal way. But, I mean, at this point, seriously, who would want to? That bridge is just freaking sweet. And we've got Mutant Taco on here now. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and head down here. Future Foe's place is just around the bend. He's not too far from spawn, but he's far enough out that he's got his own place and... It's a nice little ranch got going on. And 
it's almost nighttime. But I'm going to pause here and let this load in. So this is Ollie's place, Blockborough Ranch. That's his barn over there, that's the uh, first structure. And then just beyond it is his house, which is super sweet. And then he's got a whole bunch more back in there too. So I'm going to go ahead and check it all out. Approaching the outskirts here. And we have arrived. Oh, that's perfect timing with the sunset. I love that. So welcome to the Block Row Ranch, Red Roof Inn and Tavern. Further on inside. I'm not going to, again, like with all the other places, I'm not going to do too much specifically here. I'm just going to do a relatively quick run through and let Ali give a proper tour. Um, kind of explain everything about his place too. So uh, I'm going to go to sleep and I'll be right back and we'll take a look inside. 